Hello Nintendo Wii here, welcome back to Let's Play Retro Games and welcome to episode 4 of Retro Recommendations. I've been playing a lot of Burnout Paradise recently on the PS4 so for this episode I thought I'd take a look back at some of my favourite retro racing games for a variety of systems. So let's get started with number 1. It's Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. This game just screams Sega from its bright blue skies to its incredible and memorable soundtrack. If you want to relive the arcade experience, there really is no better game than Outrun. This is actually my favourite version of all the Outrun games. Included in this game is a complete arcade conversion of Outrun SP, as well as a brand new coast to coast mode which includes loads of extra single player content. It really is just one of those games that I can go back to and play over and over again. It's just a shame that the Dreamcast died out because this game would have been perfect on the system. So the second game I have here is... Oops. Right, let's try that. Let's try that again. The second game we have here, carefully, is Ridge Racer Type 4. As the name implies, this is the fourth game in the Ridge Racer series, and in my opinion, the best. There's some games that you can just lose yourself in, really get into the zone, and this is one of those titles. With a super smooth 30fps frame rate and brilliant controls, amazing drift mechanics and some really interesting levels, racing games on the PS1 really don't get much better than Ridge Racer Type 4. As well as this all new game which has over 300 cars and loads and loads of single player content and Grand Prix modes, it's even got a story mode. This PlayStation 1 game here actually comes with a second disc with an enhanced version of the original Ridge Racer. This enhanced version of the original Ridge Racer actually runs at 60 frames a second which is just amazing to behold on the original PlayStation. It's so smooth, you really can see just how far Namco came in such a short space of time between the first game and this one. It's an incredible difference and it really is an amazing game for the PS1. Number 3, and by far my favourite game in the Need for Speed series, this is Need for Speed Underground 2 for the GameCube. It also came out on the Xbox, PS2, Game Boy Advance, DS, mobile phones at the time. It came out on pretty much every console available, it was on PC as well. I've got the GameCube version here, it's definitely one of my favourite free roaming uh, racing games. You get an entire city to explore, this was actually the first time that I'd ever played anything like it and it really sucked me in. I got completely addicted to it. The gameplay once again feels great, there's also a really nice mechanic where you can soup up on your cars, give them different paint jobs, give them different tyres and everything. There's loads of different cars to unlock, loads of different courses to play and like I said you can just go around and explore the city at your will as well. So. It was the first game I played of the kind and for me, no Need for Speed game has lived up to it since. The next game here is more of a recent pickup. This is Beetle Racing Adventure on the N64. A game I was kind of put off getting for a long time because of the title. I thought, how good can a game that only has one car actually be? How wrong I was, this game is amazing. It reminds me a lot of something like San Francisco Rush if you've ever played that. The courses are really, really interesting, really inventive. There's loads of different shortcuts you can find throughout the stages, the controls are spot on, and the graphics for the N64 are amazing. Just look at this footage. It's so smooth, it's so fun to play. Really is one of my all-time favourite racing games now, so if you were put off in the past like me, don't be. Go and pick this game up, it's fairly cheap and it's absolutely worth every penny. And the final game we have here is Big Rigs Over the Road. No, I'm just kidding, it's Burnout Legends for the PSP. I haven't played the PSP in quite a while, but since I got this game I haven't been able to put it down. It really is an incredible game. This game is basically a best of compilation of all the Burnout games that came before it. It features all the modes you would come to expect from the Burnout series, amazing crashes, really fast gameplay, brilliant boost mechanic and drift mechanic, everything you could possibly want for a racing game. Unfortunately I did have a look and it's not available on PSN so you can't get it for the Vita. So the only way you can actually pick it up is on the PSP, but I highly, highly recommend it if you've got one. And just a word of warning, in case you're tempted, do not get the DS version because I hear it is terrible and it's no match for the PSP one, so. So thank you guys, that was my top five retro racing games. I might do another video on this topic in the future because there is a hell of a lot more that I could talk about. I really love my racing games and especially some for the older platforms. So I asked the question on Twitter, what are some people's favourite retro racing games? And you guys were amazing, I got loads of great responses. So I'm going to go through a few of them now. So the first tweet we have here is from my good friend Dean, also known as the Deadliest Puddle. And he said, Diddy Kong Racing. 
Absolutely, Diddy Kong Racing is one of my favourite games ever, and if I do do another video on this topic, it's definitely going to be included. Richard at RetroApp said the Lotus series for the Amiga. I've never actually played this, but I do hear they're really good, and I'd love to pick up an Amiga at some point. I'm actually also looking at getting a Commodore 64, so if anyone knows any good racing games for that system, let me know in the comments. Ashley Green said, Chase HQ. Let's go, Mr. <laughs> I really do love this game, I've only played the arcade version and the Game Boy version. I think it's on the Sega Saturn, so might try and find that in the future. DJ Tatsujin next, he recommended the Top Gear series for the SNES. Another series that I haven't actually played but I do hear really good things about. The London Retro Market's coming up soon so I might keep an eye out for this one. And the Beard Gaming, one of my good friends and I've done a lot of collaborations with him here on YouTube, he suggested Big Rigs Over the Road Racing. Everyone knows how much of an incredible game this is. I'm really sad that I don't have a copy in my collection. I would just love to get it someday. Just look it up, it's got like amazing reviews across the board. Really incredible game. Like, no other game can even live up to the hype that that game had when it came out. He also suggested Mario Kart, which is okay, I guess. So there we have it. Some of my favorite retro racing games and some of your favorite retro racing games. I'm going to keep doing this in the future, so follow me on Twitter at NintendoWii. And before I release these videos, I'll be asking the questions so maybe you guys can get featured in the videos going forward. So thank you very much for watching. As always, don't forget to check out my Patreon. Press the thumbs up because that helps me get recommended on YouTube to other people who might not be able to find my channel otherwise. So that's amazing. Great to see so many new subscribers. It's always great. Leave a comment in the description where you found me. That'd be really cool. And anyway, I'll see you again next week. Goodbye. So thank you very much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you'd like to see some more retro recommendations, there's a playlist on the left here. Go and click that and you can see all the previous episodes in the series. And if you're new to the channel, I've just set up another playlist with some of the best videos for you to go and check out. That one's on the right. So thank you very much for watching. Press subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week.